Can you listen to my riddle? A riddle is a statement or a question that has, you have to think about what it's trying to tell you. So I'm going to give you a riddle. You have to think about what I'm trying to say. Can you keep the beat on your lap? Maybe your belly? Let's start with our lap. I have one and you do two. So we can tell who's who from who. Listen again. Maybe you caught it. Maybe you did. Maybe tap our head this time. I have one and you do two. So we can tell who's who from who. You figured out what I'm trying to say. What do we all have that tells us apart from each other? Let's do it one more time. Maybe this time you take your toe and tap it on the floor like this. See if you can do it. I have one and you do two, so we can tell who's who from who. You figured it out? We have names. I just read your story about our names being song and being a song. And it's important that we learn how to say each other's name the right way and that we learn each other's name, period. But we want to say it the right way. So let's try that again. Can you keep the beat somewhere on your body? I, you get to pick. You might go like this. You might go on your lap again. You might be on your belly. You might be on your shoulder. Pick one spot and stay there for the whole riddle. Though. Okay? Don't change too much. Ready? Here we go. I have one and you do too. So we can tell who's who from who. My name is Mr. Sharp. Huh. I did something different at the end. Pay attention this time. I might do it again. Ready? Keep the beat on a different part. If you did it here, you can't do it there again. You have to do it maybe on your nose, maybe on your ears. Okay, ready? I have one and you do two, so we can tell who's who from who. My name is Mr. Sharp. Hmm. Did you figure out what I added? At the end of the chant, the, the riddle, I said, my name is Mr. Sharp. You might say, my name is Joseph. If someone's named Joseph, you might say, my name is Amy. I don't know. But you have to say your name. But, and you have to put it in a sentence. You have to say, my name is fill in the blank. Because everybody's name is different. Some of you may have the same name, uh, but a lot of you probably have a different name. I also did something else at the end. Pay attention this time, okay? I'm gonna say my name. Your job is to say yours, okay? Let's keep the beat on our laps first with our riddle. I have one and you do two, so we can tell who's who from who. My name is Mr. Sharp. I moved at the end. I moved to the way the syllables of the words do you remember last week we organized syllables? We put broccoli had three, cake had one, a pear had one. We organized those syllables. This time, you're going to move to the syllables. And your movement can be anything you want. You can go, my name is Joseph. You can even have a sound on it. You might go, my name is Joseph. Anything is right. There's no wrong answer. You just want to see if you can make your movements or your sounds match the syllables of that sentence. You have to say the sentence first, and then you move like it. It's like this. My name is Mr. Sharp. See, I had two things in that. You can make it really complicated as long as you can do it. If it's too complicated and you can't teach it to someone else, like Cora Jalimuso, she taught how to sing their name. You might have to teach your brother or sister or your grown-ups at home, or if you're at school, a friend next to you, what your movement is for your name, and they have to learn it. So you got to say your name, and you got to do your movement. You think you can do it? So I'm going to show you on this hand, you're speaking, my name is, say your name. This hand is when you move to that sound, okay? Are you ready? Stand up. If you need to, your movement might not need to. You might want to practice. If you need to practice, pause first. Practice it. All right. Did you practice? Okay. Here we go. First, we got to do the riddle. I have one and you do two, so we can tell who's who from who. My name is Moving like your name. Did you get it? Let's try it again. I bet you need more practice. Ready? Let's start with the my name part. Ready? Ready? Go. My name is moving like your name. 
you want to try practicing it again, maybe come up with an easier movement if you realize it was really hard. Because if I try to do this, I might break something if I try to do this, but we're going to see. My. I could have hurt someone. I could have hurt myself or could have hurt something. Make sure you're going to be safe when you're moving to your name. Okay, so good luck. Make sure you learn a friend's name or your brother or sister or your grown-up in your house. Okay.